One of the first times we've ever seen the crowd vote against Method Orange in a series like this. The boys just have so much momentum. It just goes to show how much the boys really have been putting up an, as an impact on this tournament scene. That they have had a fantastic showing in the previous finals, making it all the way to Game 7, barely winning, and uh, b barely losing, sorry. And then again, this week, they are just looking like the team to beat. Already winning once against Method Orange, 3-2 to two in this Cleve Mirror. You can see Trill and Mez are going after Goreki here, and we're going to find out shortly if he is playing that feral affinity as well. Yeah, we definitely have to see Smaxine getting low early on. Trill going to be looking to burn up a lot of Goreki's mana. And Method Orange, they really have been using this strategy quite well. Trill has been doing an excellent job running at these Resto Druids, trying to eat up all the mana that they have available. Once again, full stun on Goreki. He's actually going to trink it out and escape the one of the mana rifts incoming, but his mana is not looking great. Already on 60%. I don't know if he's going to be able to escape. Right now, Smex and Chun-Li, they're not able to create enough pressure on Mez to really deflect Trill, and this is looking like a nightmare for the boys. Yeah, most certainly is, and this is why they crafted this composition, Method Orange, that is, is to just burn down the mana bar of the Restoration Druids and then just stay on the target and deny the drink for the rest of the match, and that's the main objective for Method Orange. Stay alive, stun and mana rift and chill. Wait until they can get into dampening, find a kill when the Druid is completely tapped out on mana, so it's going to be up to the boys to find enough damage to push them back. I'm curious if Gurecki is running that Feral Affinity or not in this not. specific he's not okay so Gorecki's gonna be losing a bit of damage but I don't blame him I mean Method Orange are just training him start to finish yep Gorecki forced super defensive in this game so far caught into a stun does manage to escape now Barkskin gets traded out full cyclone on Sidu good job Trill getting a little bit low with no blur and no trinket Trill is very vulnerable as a target does have the gladiator safeguard Gorecki once again looking for a drink not sure he's going to be able to actually find it in this matchup touch of karma gets committed by chun li as they look to continue the assault on trill who's just been relentlessly training down Gorecki. yeah it's been a really really nice strategy adaptation here from method orange uh, normally we would see them also lock in that rest druid on a big map like this instead they are going to keep sidu on that restoration shaman gonna just tunnel down Gorecki as much as possible preventing him from thinking that way and then also grip him in get a nice stun on him try to get those big big mana rifts onto him as well trill's been doing a phenomenal job with that so far mez also keeping his pets onto goreki and we can see trill actually putting a lot of pressure with that long kuna metamorphosis onto goreki being able to tax his mana so hard actually yeah it is true goreki now using innervate trying to top off his team escaping in stealth you can see Look at his positioning. What is he going to do? Is he going to go up for follow-up crowd control? It looks like they're take, trying to take down Trill. Trill's actually exceptionally low. He does have the darkness trying to kite away. He gets gripped in out of darkness. And the boys claim game number one. Oh, that was so unfortunate for Method Orange. Get out something. Yeah, and that's going to be a big telling thing here for the boys. We need to be paying attention to Gorecki, and we also need to keep our eyes on Method Orange to figure out which composition they most likely want to play in the rest of this best of seven as we get this one underway. Obviously, there were mistakes made by Method Orange, and their defense got broken. Now here in game number two, they're going to have a shot at redemption. This is a best of seven grand finals in the second North American qualifying cup to the spring finals later this year. But Trill is already falling behind. Tons of damage with multiple maledicts flying in, soaking up tons of healing. That gladiator safeguard keeps Trill safe for now. Mez is low. Chun-Li and Smexen also low as both teams trade blows early on. Greki gets swapped to all of a sudden by Method Orange. They could be gunning down for his life as well in game number two. Is he going to fall this early? Doesn't appear to be the case, but now he's got to recover Smexen as well as his own health at the same time. Looks like he's managing it just fine. Mez may fall behind if he jumps off that side. He's opting not to, giving Sidu more time to recover. Now Smexen on the back foot. Yeah, and again, we can see here uh, the boy, uh, Method Orange are actually playing that Alliance race. We see Maz on that Night of Death Knight once again. Trill is going to be looking for those burns on the Goreki. We see all the, uh, the all-in aggression here from Method Orange, but this time around, they seem to have a lot more pressure on Smexin as well as Chun Li. I like that a lot. It's going to prevent Goreki from just focusing on surviving himself. It's going to tax his mana as well. Nice grip, leg sweep combo here. Chun Li getting fell erupted, mana burnt, taking huge amounts of damage here as Sidu is making sure that Goreki stays in the fight as well and not sneaks up for those drinks. Yeah, Goreki trying to find a Cyclone on Sidu. He managed to ground it. Nicely done. Now Paralysis on Sidu. Trill not that vulnerable, though he took a lot of damage early on. He still has 
basically everything. Mez is the main pressure point at this point, and Trill's going to help him out with that darkness as Sidu is caught into crowd control. I think it was a smart trade. Now Trill, feeling confident, can push forward, try to get some mana rifts on Gorecki once again, who's already down to 50%. But that's what Orange, they can't be getting too aggressive. Although I do think it's important that they're pressuring Gorecki. We saw what happened in the last game where maybe they got a little bit overconfident with the way the game was going. Spexen and Chun-Li at any moment could close out this game with their damage. Yes. Yeah. I, you really took the words out of my mouth there. As long as they keep pressuring Goreki from from time to time and make sure that he doesn't get those drinks, and they, they all they need to do is just survive. Sidu is going to have that mana lead for sure. If they keep that up, you see Chun Li is going to be taking some damage. Trill is going to apply some pressure onto Smexen. I like targeting Chun Li before dampening, and as I say that, Mez is actually going to asphyxiate uh, Chun Li and try to take some damage off. Chun Li is going to make sure that Goreki stays uh, in those mana rifts and stun him up as well. Nice cap stun as well from Sidu. Oh, I actually oh. realized, I realized something. I know why Mez and Trill are playing Night Elf. It's actually really good against Maledict. It just completely immunes it. If someone uses Maledict on you and you Shadow Meld it, it, it just stops it from happening whatsoever. I mean, so yesterday when we were sort of thinking about that, now that's, we have an answer. That seems really difficult to do. I mean, it's you, not. Is it? It, it doesn't It's less difficult than Dark Iron Dwarf, just pressing it after it hits you? Yeah, it doesn't actually, well, you can't play Dark Iron Dwarf. Oh, you can't, can't play, play Dark Iron, Iron Dwarf. Yeah. Neither of them can. Yeah, Trill and Mez can't play Dark Iron Dwarf. And for Night Elf, you, there's no timing. You just press the Night Elf button whenever the trinket's flying at you. Whether it's midair, it was just used, it just hits you, and it will immune it. So I think it is intelligent for Method Orange, and that has finally, a puzzle has finally been solved in my brain. All right, Sidu's team is all down to half health. Mez in trouble here. Will Sidu have enough juice to back him up? He's getting Ring of Peace against the wall. He gets paralysis at the final second. Mez could fall. He's, at, he's gonna fall once again. The boys taking full advantage and now with a 2-0 lead are looking. Pieces in this one may be for the boys. And I think a lot of this will come down to the defensive play of Sidu on the Restoration Druid. I think Chun-Li and Spexen are going to be looking for him as the main target in this match. Trill's main objective is to make sure he's mana burning Gorecki as often as possible with that mana rift. Sam is going to have to be an excellent defensive player to keep Sidu alive. But so far, it seems like Chun-Li and Smexen putting most of their damage and pressure on Sam I am, at least initially. Yep, Sam I am the main target here for the boys as they try to advance to match point here very early on. Lots of damage here. Sidu's in crowd control. Multiple defensive cooldowns are required to stabilize Sam I am. The pressure is just so heavily in favor of the boys here in the grand finals. I'm starting to think that they will be able to walk away this series 4-0 against the reigning champs. Yeah, well, it's definitely possible. We'll have to see what happens. What were you going to say? Uh, I was just going to say, well, look at Gorecki's mana bar. It's actually uh, lower than Sidu's, uh, but the pressure, of course, is insane as Sam I am takes a huge heal right there, uh, barely actually hanging on there. doesn't have his bark skin available, but he does have his incarnation, though. Gorecki's going to push in for that cyclone, and this is something I like what Gorecki is doing. He pushes in, he gets the cyclone, dispels himself, line of sight's trail, going to get that restart right there, and now he has an opportunity to go aggressive or to go for a drink. That's what he keeps doing time and time again and now we also know he's playing that feral affinity yeah i was just gonna say gorecki showing his hand there that he is feral affinity so if he can get these restelts off he can assist the team with the pounces and a little bit of additional damage as well trill still all over gorecki just continuously looking for the mana rifts and look at the positioning sidu and sam have because at this point it's just up to sam i am to survive he can sit in bear form when he needs to try to get out some damage onto smexon onto chun lee trill can come back and assist him whenever he can but Basically, when Mana Rift is off cooldown, he should be on Gorecki, burning out that mana ASAP. Yeah, another random Mana Rift connects on Gorecki. He's now down to 50%, and he really hasn't been able to take advantage of the Feral Affinity. The extra movement speed you're granted, he's trying to run around the corners and outrun Trill, finally able to get some space away from him and dodge the attacks. I actually make a swap over to Sidu, bursting him down in midfield as he desperately tries to duck around the corner, but they're just maybe going to train Sidu. Thorns gets activated by him, snaring up the opponents and redirecting damage back to them as he is looking to kite away, but Gorecki jumps into the fight as well. Gorecki could be the X Factor. X Factor, he's really been an MVP on that Feral Affinity. He can add just a little bit of extra damage to push the other team over the edge and get a kill. So let's see if he can do it before he's tapped on mana. 
I actually liked it a lot more when uh, the boys were going after Sam I am. Now they are going to be looking for Sam I am. You just have Gorecki line of sight trail like he is doing right now. He's going to be moving a little bit quicker and have Smex and Chun Li put out that pressure. Even if you get mana burned, I actually think Gorecki is going to be in a situation where he has more mana. And as I say that, CD is actually looking for a drink. Can Smex and stop him though? CD is going to move away. So he canceled his own drink right there. I think Chun Li might be on top of it though. And he is. Sidu did not get any mana there. And Gorecki on the flip side is getting targeted by Trill with that metamorphosis, taking another big mana burn to the face. Yep. All right, Gorecki, you're getting hunted by Trill. There is at least counter pressure now onto Sam I am. Defensive options available and traded out here by Cedar. The mana is actually equal. The damage output from the boys is just as devastating as the mana rift of Trill. Gorecki doing his best to avoid Trill, but he gets caught into an imprison. They time the mana rift to time it right as it ends. Sam, I am still taking the brunt of this as the boys look to try and push for match point. Finally, counter pressure. Method Orange lead with huge momentum here. Three members at below half, and the boys refusing to make a trade on cooldowns. They're trying to hold out on it and save it for a later day. They would like to line it up with Sam I Am's incarnation, and that anti magic zone will be saved and available for that attack in 20 seconds. Yes, Smexton with no anti magic shell in the midfield. Trill and Smex or Sam I Am trying to punish that a little bit right now onto Smexton. Maledix flying in. Lorecki's going to have to heal through this damage, and mana for both of these healers relatively even. Maybe Cedar's a little bit behind, especially with this mana rift coming in from Gorecki. He's looking across the map once again to avoid Trill and potentially go down for a drink. This is an opportunity maybe, but Starfold is so effective, and I think that's one of the things we really have to consider when looking at this Moonkin is Starfall is such an enormous radius. It really becomes difficult to sneak away and get behind the pillar when Sam I Am can basically deny you from midfield. All right, Incarnation has been popped. How is Smexen going to respond here? Is he going to drop any magic zone on Gorecki? He needs it. They drop it. Did he miss? Uh, Gorecki yes. just runs out of it. They whiff the anti-magic zone. Big mistake by the boys. Now they're falling behind on mana. Gorecki just getting locked out in this in prison. They timed the mana rift to connect. Now they s Trill could switch his attention. No, he's just going to be Terminator style at Gorecki's mana bar. Gorecki gets a restealth, goes for a cyclone. Solar beam not available. Trill locked out of the fight for a tad bit here as the boys look like they want to switch their attention to Seedu with Dampening having just kicked in. He still has a slight edge. Perhaps Method Orange can battle it back here on Tolveron Arena. They need to win four games. The boys already two up in this series. Looking to take a first place finish in the second North American Cup. It would be quite a morale booster for the rest of the season. Seedu getting caught in midfield, but Smexen's peeled away. Gorecki seems to be the one. Nope, they go for the all-in on Cedar to try and take him out here in game three. Makes the trade efficiently on that iron bark. Will it be enough? Sam, uh, I am giving him oh. good backup. Touch of death about to explode, but with the distance he's made from Chun-Li, he should more than easily recover. Method Orange stay in it and have a lead. Yeah, Sam I has been doing a really good job with the peels. He got a nice bash on Chun-Li into a mass entanglement onto the Storm, Earth, and Fire, really denying the damage Chun-Li was able to do in that last setup. As I say that, Smexin and Chun-Li finding huge damage onto Sam I Am. Cedar potentially looking for a drink. Wants to just sit down for a little bit of mana. Wasn't able to find it. Too much damage from the boys. Gorecki across the map right now. Sam Iam's going to have to move forward and look for Starfall to try to deny that. I think Gorecki actually might be drinking here. Sam I am. Unfortunately, he didn't miss it. Okay, that's good for Method Orange. Good job denying that. Now, once again, Mana Rift coming in from Trill. Sam I am taking quite a bit of damage. Sidu not able to recover whatsoever. And I'm really surprised that Gorecki and Sidu are completely even on mana. I really want to see Gorecki actually push in with that last bit of mana. Uh, oh, big damage on Sam I am. This is what happens. It's, the boys just, in all three of these games, they have had such high, consistent... ...and you don't like what you see, and that might be the case here. The boys, just one game away from taking I it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're making jokes, jokester. All right, Trill caught in center field right now. Moving forward towards Grecky, who is in stealth. He's going to be hiding in stealth as long as he can. He doesn't want to see Trill. His trill has been making his life a nightmare. Although Grecky has been winning these games, still it's difficult for him in these matchups. I do like the Feral Affinity. He hasn't been getting aggressive with it, but basically when he's playing Ring Around the Rosie in these matchups, if he can get a reself, that means he gets away from Trill. He gets to pounce him, cyclone him, and then he actually creates distance, can top off, and assist his team. Yeah, Gorecki doing a great job with that Feral Affinity as the boys look to 4-0, the reigning BlizzCon champions, Method Orange. I'm starting to think that they're going to be able to do it. I really wanted to see the mirror here in game number four, and I am disappointed not to. Obviously, two of these losses are off the back of a 
series of un unfortunate events with that ring of peace pin pinning Sidu against the wall and the paralysis deny his heal, the death grip out of darkness in game one. So if Method Orange don't have those unfortunate situations and can drag the fight out and mana rift Gorecki consistently, they still have that win condition, but the boys are playing on a whole nother level from the teams in North America, and they constantly have that X factor Gorecki with feral affinity. I'm not sure if Method Orange are going to be able to do it. Yeah, Gorecki getting bursted down low right now by Trill, but he's not committing the bark skin or the iron bark. Sidu does get gripped in. Good pressure here from Mez onto Chun Li. And I like this a lot better. Instead of going after Smexin, really pressure down this Windwalker Monk. Chun Li already forced to use his touch of karma as Mez does get low. This is a lot of damage. Sidu forced to drop out the Earthen Shield totem, and with Trill not there, they really don't have too much pressure onto the boys. Gorecki now sitting down for a drink. Trill has to find him. He gets death gripped away. Gorecki might be able to regenerate a ton of mana. Beautiful ring of peace. And that's going to be a full reset on the mana bar of the boys. All righty then here in what is match point for the boys. Can they pull it off? Chun-Li is getting bursted. Gorecki needs to respond. Good trade should start to stabilize. Trill after Chun-Li now maybe potentially switching back to Gorecki. Gorecki trying to get a re-stealth. Looking for a break stun, not able to get it, jumping in to see for a bash instead. Ursula's Vortex to pull Trill away to get distance for a Cyclone. Nice maneuvers by Gorecki. Mez now in a three on two at about half health, but not enough damage to force a cooldown just yet from him. And I do believe that Mez is running Lichborn instead of Icebound Fortitude, which is why that cooldown is not showing up under his frame. He'll have access to effectively the damage reduction of Icebound Fortitude every minute, but he will lose the ability to remove or to become immune to stuns. Mez is just taking so much damage right now, and really Method Orange are struggling. They definitely are. So much single target pressure coming in from Chun-Li and Smexin. And I think it is difficult for the Restoration Shaman to heal through that damage. Trill going on a solo mission once again, almost taking down Gorecki, getting imprisoned on his Iron Bark. Chun-Li does manage to survive. He has a touch of karma as well, so he's feeling quite stable at this point. Gorecki can really just focus on himself. And in terms of mana, right now, Method Orange does have a massive lead, which is what you expect. But in the other three, other three games, they had a massive lead as well. The boys just looking for these kills out of nowhere with good crowd control on to Sidu. Is Sidu going to have to drop out the Spearling Totem? It doesn't look like it just yet. Trying to stabilize. Smexin in range for a Mind Freeze, but he's just trying to fake cast that interrupt. We do not normally see a Death Knight pressured this heavily before dampening, and that only goes to show how the boys are dealing so much damage throughout this series. Finally, counter-aggression towards Chun-Li with that Maledict soaking up a lot of Gorecki's healing. Gorecki actually going for Cyclones in front of Method Orange. Quite a bold statement on his part with that Feral Affinity risk. They do grip Gorecki into the fight, but now he's able to get away. Not enough damage. Mez is just focusing on Chains of Ice and running away. Mez is only running. He's not able to ever attack. The boys have him pinned, and they're really relying on Trill to carry the game, but I'm not sure if he can. Maybe he can. Gorecki finally down to half. We haven't stepped into dampening. If Trill can keep nailing these mana rifts, he's going to have to be the one to carry the team. He's doing an unbelievable amount of damage to Gorecki in this matchup. Mez still getting low, but Sidu has managed to stabilize him and keep him afloat. Trill now with the Metamorphosis, looking to get super aggressive on a Gorecki. Uses the Bark Skin, a lot of incoming damage. Mana Rift gets dropped out, but unfortunately missed time there by Trill. One of the first missed time Mana Rifts we have seen. Sidu with Ascendance, with Spirit Link, has traded out his entire defensive arsenal to keep Mez alive. Now I don't know what they're going to do. Looks like the boys, they're going after Sidu. They realize he's a vulnerable target without Spirit Link. But I think with Pack Spirit, Sidu should be able to get away. He still has the Astral Shift as well. But just so much damage from the boys. Sidu has to react appropriately in this situation. Going to be getting into Ghost Wolf with the Astral Shift. Mez trying to peel for him the best that they can. But Sidu with no trinket. If he gets caught into a stun at this percentage of HP, he could just easily fall. John Lee actually has his leg sweep ready soon. And Trill is on the other side of the map. If he gets caught up in a crowd control, uh -oh. Gorecki, this could be big, big trouble for Sidu. Yep, that's a touch of death as well. Chun Li trying to connect damage. Smexin grips him in the open. Do they have the full stun, which is exactly what they need to close out this game? Trill has darkness, but if he gets crowd control, he's not going to have that available for Sidu. Chun Li playing very aggressive, but without the touch of karma, might have to finally back off. I mean, he's going to have to at this point. Mez has finally protected Sidu and forced them away. Gorecki's totally tapped on mana. They need to keep this going just a tad bit longer if Method Orange want to stay alive in the tournament they're facing elimination they have to win four
four games back to back. Chun Li here is an open target, but Mez is dangerously low. We haven't even gotten into deep dampening. Sidu doesn't have much here to trade, and Mez is in dire straits. Chun Li as well. Both teams continue swinging. Nice Malady timing. One second. It's absorbing all that healing. Touch of Karma on 1%. Gorecki's mana is at negative 0.1% at this point. It doesn't even exist anymore in the match. Sidu, though, is almost tapped as well. If the boys can hang in there just a bit longer. Mez is totally topped. Mez and Orange are ready for a push. Let's see what they can get done. Yeah, Chun Li does get stunned up. He uses his trinket to get out of it. Double stun now incoming from the boys as they look to close out this game on Mez. A lot of damage. Darkness gets dropped off by Trill. They don't want to throw away this game without using all the defensive cooldowns. Gorecki, did he find any mana in that exchange? No, he didn't. Chun Li's still very vulnerable. Iron Bark is available for Gorecki if he really needs it. Mez finally deflecting Chun Li, staying alive and forcing him to run away. All right, Gorecki, what can you do here? You got 0% mana. Your Wind Walker's got zero cooldowns. Chun Li, though, with some good evasive maneuvers, was able to transcend back to the top of the balcony and avoid Mez's attacks. Trill, though, is hunting him to find the kill, although now he's allowing Gorecki to breathe and potentially regenerate mana the longer he's not chasing him and hunting him. Sidu's got that Earth Elemental on Gorecki that to, de to deny him from drinking. Good awareness here in the late game from Method Orange to secure the advantage that they've worked so hard to get. Chun-Li's got Touch of Death. They've got Sidu locked down and crowd control. He needs 15 more seconds, but it's actually Chun-Li who is struggling to stay aggressive despite having Touch of Death. He is still on the back foot from Mez's aggression here, deep into dampening. Innervate timed by Gorecki. He's going to catch a couple free heals, stabilize Chun-Li, and then put Mez behind. Sidu has some answers to trade, but now his mana is tapped. Double leg sweep. No, oh, no. trick it out. There's nothing left for Method Orange as the boys look to close this match out. Mez hangs on by a thread. Sidu connects the Spirit Link with one final second left to stay in the tournament. Yeah, but the boys, they can continue this push. Touch of Karma still available for Chun-Li. Ironbark gets used by Gorecki, and they've been trying to pressure down Chun-Li, so Gorecki's actually been able to generate some mana. That's a nice ring of peace by Chun-Li, keeping Mez in place as he's looking to kite away. Sidu struggling to keep him up, and he's now completely too. tapped on mana. Gorecki going for a drink. He oh. has 60% of his mana. The boys looking to 4-0 Method Orange in the grand finals of cup number two. How is Mez going to be able to survive? I mean, there's really nothing. They just need a miracle. They're on match point. The boys are in total domination. Suddenly, some decent damage, though, on the Smexin. Both Death Knights in trouble deep into Daphne. Triple stun lock, but Mez is looking like he's going to fall first. Will Smexin? Jackson fall on the cross kill doesn't look to be the case. The boys battle it out. They 4-0 the BlizzCon champ. Just like Zico said, this is a very big performance from Method Orange finally making their return. They drop down to the lower portion of the bracket where they have to go on a run to get all of the way back to the grand finals. But the boys just looking so strong. But you look at so many of these different names. And you know that the real competitors as far as points go as well. I mean, the Super Frogs bow out at the beginning of today, but that's the team that's going to be in second place right now. Get your boy dog going to be tied up with Method Orange. Storm essentially right there. The Rejects and Never Lucky, these other teams that are soaking up points as well. Like the, the move, <laughs> that is literally.